because I learn a little bit differently. I'm a, a bit of a scientist in my brain. You know, I'm a science geek, yeah. and so it's a little bit different. You have from, a degree in biology, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I was pre-med in college, and so I, I, how I got here is, is bananas. <laughs> how did you but, get here? Let's let's start there. How did you right. get here? Well, uh, I was applying to medical schools and graduate schools and all that stuff, and I didn't want to have any regrets in life. And I grew up singing. I grew up in church. Um, grew up singing and singing in school, singing in college, and I've always wanted to like make an album or like sing jingles and commercials. And I was in, um, I, I love jingles. To the lead and ain't too proud. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and so I was like, I was uh, graduated, went to school uh, in Virginia, Hampton University. I uh, moved from Virginia to St. Louis. I was staying with my grandfather at the time, and I was like, well, you can't really do what you need to do here, so. You know, let's just buy a ticket to New York and see what happens. So I bought a one-way ticket here, uh, and you know, I stayed at the YMCA for a couple of weeks, and uh, it was kind of just like knocking on doors, and uh, had a little uh, cassette tape of me singing. Oh God, what did I sing? True Colors. Uh, I see your true colors shining oh, yeah. through. Yeah, yeah. And when I was, was like, this? Like, what year was this? Oh God, I moved here 20 years ago. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And so I was just knocking on doors of the commercial agencies, and it's like, hi, I want to sing jingles. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> and did anyone hear your tape and say, you're going to sing more than jingles? I don't know if anyone actually listened to it. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, you drop off these tapes and the receptionists are very kind. They're like, thanks. And you never know if they actually hear it or not. So I have no idea. So what? Yeah. when did you start getting into shows and when did you start performing? Yeah, well, uh, I started. Started one. My first job here was at TGI Fridays on 50th and 7th, a little bit further uptown from here. And um, this is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> this is an am this is so amazing. Keep just tell the tell the story tell from it. beginning to end. I'll tell it to you. Uh, and so my new friends were aspiring actors, but I didn't know that. You know, a lot of waiters here are aspiring artists. And so um, they were auditioning for a show called Rent at the time. And it's like, well, you're a singer. You should come. And I was like, all right, sure. And so I went, I auditioned, I kept getting callbacks. I'm like, what am I actually being called back for? I had no clue. I had no clue. Did you go up to the waiters that you work with and they're like, calling me back? I don't want to yeah. do that. What is this for? Yeah. And the waiter's like, no, you got to go. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. They were like, you got a, you got a callback? I was like, yeah, I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, I'm going to go back and see them and sing again. They were like. Wasting my time. They keep calling me back. Why? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So finally I was like, I don't even know what I'm actually auditioning for. So let me actually go see what I'm auditioning for so I won the lottery um the particular night and saw the show and I was like oh wow it was my first Broadway show I'd ever seen and I was like I can do that I was like that I can do and that was kind of like uh, a dream that I didn't know I had you know what I mean it's like you have dreams in your life and sometimes you have dreams sometimes your dreams find you and this one found me 